Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we have learned how do we float elements to the left of a container by applying left value to the float CSS property. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss what happens when we apply a value right to CSS float property. So let's get started. I go to start, type notepad, I click on notepad. Then here I write opening HTML tag, closing HTML tag, opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. In the head section, I am going to write opening title tag and say CSS float demo closing title. I save the file, file, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name float demo dot HTML. Both sides I put double quotations and click on the save button. I minimize the notepad file. You can see that float demo dot html page got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see that float demo dot html page got open and title is set to CSS float demo. In the body, I am going to create three div elements. Opening div and I give id of div1 and I put content div1 closing div. I create one more div element. I am going to copy that paste it down and the id is going to be changed to div2 and content is going to be div2. I paste once again. This is going to be div3 and div3. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that div1, div2, div3 are created one below another. Quite simple. In the head section, I am going to write style, type, text or CSS. Then I say closing style tag. In between, I am going to write some styles for every div element. I am telling to the browser that locate every div element in this current page. Apply border of 1 pixel solid line black color semicolon file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that border are added to every div element and we know that divs are block level tags. They start always on new fresh line and they take the entire available width. Then I apply the width of 100 pixel semicolon height of 100 pixel and font dash size of 24 point semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that divs are created with all styles applied now i am going to tell to the system that locate a div which has the id div1 and apply background color background dash color of cyan semicolon file save go to browser and refresh next i tell to the system locate a div which has the id 2 div 2 and it should be having the background color magenta file save go to browser and refresh similarly i am going to copy that and paste it down and this is going to be div 3 and it is going to have background color of yellow file save go to browser and refresh so now we have three divs with styles applied in this tutorial as i told i am going to discuss about float write so to the div 1 i am going to apply float rigst write so here i am assigning a value write to float property what happens we understand file save go to browser when i refresh what happens is as i told every container is going to have one float layer on top of it when we apply float write on an element it is going to be moved out of the normal flow or taken out of the container and placed on a float layer to the right side so at present div1 is on float layer you can see that it is taken out of the body container layer as there is nothing at present in this place in the body container layer definitely uh, div2 and div3 are going to be moved up there will be no problem you can see that if i go and refresh you can observe that carefully like div1 is moved to the right of the container layer and now it is on the float layer div2 and div3 are moved up quite simple similarly i can apply float right on div2 also f l o a t float r i g h t right semicolon if i say float right on div2 file save go to browser and refresh this div2 is going to be floated to the float layer you can say like this div2 
is going to be taken out of the normal flow and it is taken out of the container layer and moved on to the float layer. As I told that when we apply the float property on any block level element, it turns into an inline level element. And you can see that that is the reason div1 and div2 are seated one beside another. Quite simple. As there is nothing in this place in the body container layer, this div3 is going to be moved up. Div3 is going to be moved up. Quite simple. Try to understand it. So div1 and div2 will be one beside another and div3 is going to be in the body layer. Let me show that if I go here and refresh, you can see that div1 and div2 are one beside another and they are floated to the right and they turn into inline level elements you can see and div3 is now in the body layer placed on the left hand side. Similarly, if I say here float float R I G H T float right. Now we are applying float right to the div3 element also. File save go to browser and refresh. Div3 element is also going to be moved out of the normal flow or it is going to be taken out of the container layer and it is going to be placed beside div2 on the float layer. So I go here and say refresh. You can see that div1, div2 and div3 are one beside another and you should remember that there is nothing at present available in the body layer or a body container layer. You can see that if any another element is there it is going to be moved up. So at present we have only div1, div2, div3 they are seated one beside another and they are flowing from right to left. Quite simple. And uh, as we know that div1, div2, div3, all these three are divs only. Instead of writing float write in each of them, we can remove these float writes. I can remove this also. And simply I can go to div and tell that every div should be floated to write. Simple. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that they are floating from right to left. If I remove this, control X, File, save, go to browser and refresh. Div1, Div2 and Div3 are now in a body container layer and they are one below another. If I say here float colon left semicolon, all divs are going to be floated left and they are placed one beside another. Div1, Div2, Div3. I remove this again, control X, file, save, go to browser and refresh, normal flow and then I say float right this time. R I G H T right file save go to browser and refresh they are floated from right to left one two three let me bring it back again control X file save go to browser and refresh they are now in the container layer and um, they are in normal flow let's discuss still more control we can perform or we can do we can control the placement of divs now here I say I go to div 1 and set F L O A T float R I G H T right semicolon now this div1 is going to be floated to right. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that it is floated to the right and div2 and div3 are moved up. If div1's float right property should not affect the div2, then what we can do is we can say here clear rigst right. Then what happens is div2 is going to be placed back and div3 is going to be placed back in their place. You can see that div2 and div3 are moved down. Similarly, if I say here float float rigst right semicolon file save go to browser. If I refresh div1 and div2 are going to be placed one beside another as there is nothing at the div2 and div1 place div3 is going to be moved up refresh. You can see that div3 is placed in the body container layer whereas div1 and div2 are one beside another on the float layer. Similarly, if you do not want this div3 to be affected by div2's float right property we can simply say here clear clear rigst right semicolon file save go to browser and refresh when we refresh it is going to be placed back to the div2 place you can see that we can control a lot of things uh, by using the clear attribute i am going to remove this i am going to remove this also i am going to remove this also file save go to browser and refresh they are in the normal flow again i say here float float rigst right semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that div1 is floated to the right div2 and div3 are moved up what i can do is i can clear the float right clear rigst right 
when i say clear write div2 is not going to be affected by div1's float write property you can see that it is moved back into its place what i can do now again is i can say here float righst write semicolon now again i am applying i am clearing the float write and then i am applying the float write what happens this time is as we have cleared it is moved to its place but as we are applying float write it is going to be floated to the right it is going to be placed below the div1 element if i refresh you can see that div1 and div2 are one below another as there is nothing in div1 and div2 place div3 has been moved up it's quite simple similarly i can say here clear c l e a r clear r i g h t right semicolon when we say clear right as float div1 and div2 both are affected by float right they are moved towards right file save go to browser and refresh you can see that div3 element is at the bottom in its place so we have cleared the uh, div2 element by saying clear right hence div3 is in its normal place similarly i can say in this place f l o a t float r i g h t right then what happens we know that div3 is going to be placed below div2 refresh div1 div2 div3 are placed one below another now you can decide how you can use these float and clear properties to create layouts or placement of the objects according to your requirement that is all about float property and a clear property at present for this tutorial i think this much is enough i suggest you to watch this video again and again and understand by using the ms paint or uh, some any image editing tools and understand how exactly the things are working in the next tutorial we get some more information on html css for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with everyone so that everybody should get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much